when people are gathering for the 16th time in Rhodes to foster and to promote dialogue, this is already success. Civilizations are different, people are different, traditions are different. What we have in common, we have the you know, mutual house in Earth. So we shouldn't forget that, that uh, the U.S. was playing a crucial role. Uh, multilateralism was an essential part of the uh, Pax Americana. So these are the facts. And uh, you can uh, regret the weakness of Europe. But again, Europe is as it is. So you have to deal with the facts. There is a growing concern about uh, about multilateralism, but about uh, 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 world peace, about world affairs, and uh, in a way our forum came at the right time. And it has demonstrated one, once more the capacity, the unique capacity of DOC Institute really to bring around the table multiple perspectives, uh, bilateral, multilateral organization. And I think, you know, there is very few, if any, other platform or think tank that has the capacity, this kind of convening capacity. We are still struggling with democratic governance, you know, with, um, let's say, the fruits of democracy, because ideally, democracy must deliver. The African presence here is higher and, and uh, more significant than in many of these events, and this is uh, a testament to the right direction that the DOC is having. Finally, everyone came to the ground that, you know, multilateralism, this is the only alternative or an alternative way to settle the most essential issues of today, which you also were referring to. I think that uh, the uh, emphasis on the economic cooperation, building up bridges of communication, and of uh, multilateralism as uh, we talked about it before and how to build up a basis of coexistence without reducing specific identities which characterize the different groups. And I think that uh, the uh, nature of DOC in terms of its basic approach is quite similar. Of course it's not easy because the world pays attention to conflicts, the world pays attention to sensations. And I think that in the meantime, um, the participants also realized that dialogue is a reality. Um, at the beginning, um, maybe people have thought, oh, that's nice, uh, let's try. But now I think uh, we share all the conviction that it's the right way to do so. A globalist is a patriot who has worldview that go beyond the boundary of one state. And I think we need to, to, to develop this sense of a shared responsibility, which doesn't mean that we ignore our culture and our identity, but the, the sense that we need really to find solution all together for the good of all. I think and I see, sincerely believe that it is the people who make a difference. Sometimes it's even friendship between influential people in different nations that makes a difference. And some of these friends are influential enough to influence general thinking, influence the media, influence communications between our countries, and even influence sometimes our governments. So for me, that is the strength of these gatherings, the genuine friendship that emerges, that eventually plays a very strong role in friendship between nations.